Hey, I'm Mariana Hewitt, and I'm going to show you how to make a really cute and easy jewelry dish in this Moto Mouth DIY. I'm always losing my jewelry somehow, and I either don't like the dishes I find or I don't use them at all. So I wanted to figure out a way to make them really cute, and it's actually so easy to make at home. So for this, you want to get anything you can use as a jewelry dish. So I like this little small saucer and a small bowl. You'll also need some Mod Podge, contact paper or stickers, a sponge brush, scissors, or a hole punch. So first, think of the design you want to make. For this, I'm using two hole punches in two different sizes. Then I cut the holes into the paper and I make shapes. You can also use stickers for this as well, anything that sticks to the back and lays flat. If you don't have a hole punch, you can also use scissors to cut out any shape. When you cut out the shapes, peel off the back of the sticky part and then make your design. So that's using a hole punch. If you want to use scissors instead, you can again just take a little piece like this and just cut out the shapes you want to use. So I'm going to cut little strips here and I'm just going to make triangles in various sizes. So I have these little shapes here. I'll do the same concept of just making a little design with these stickers. You can see I'm just sticking them on again in the same process I just did with the hole punch ones. Okay, so now you see we've done the dishes. We've cut out the shapes. We've placed them where we want to do the design. Now you'll want to get it stuck on here. So you'll paint over the top of these using Mod Podge and then let it dry. You can get this from any craft store and it's really inexpensive and there's really endless things you can do with this. So what you'll do is take the Mod Podge and you'll use a sponge brush and then you'll just put it on really, really, really thin. But what this will do is set these in place and dry clear so it just looks like it's part of the dish. You'll just brush over the entire dish, making sure the edges are down for all the little stickers. Now I go over the whole area, even where I don't put the stickers, so that it all looks one texture when it's dried. So that's what it looks like. You're going to want to let it dry for about 24 hours. And then we'll do the same thing with the other jewelry dish we made. Again, just going over the areas where the stickers are, and then the rest of the dish so it all has that same texture on the inside. And that's what it looks like once you put all the stickers on and finish your design and then put the Mod Podge on to set it. And after you let them dry for about 24 hours, they'll look like this. For more DIYs, go to modemob.com.